What's going on guys? This is Pete from PeteIsaac.com. I'm here on day two of the uh, 101 day video challenge for myself. And I got a story for you. So yesterday, I want to do something super nice for my wife. So um, I got movie tickets online, went to Fandango, did a little Rotten Tomato check to see what movies are out. And there was a movie that I saw that uh, I know she likes and she always wants to see and talks about it and even kinds of jokes with me like she'll text me the, the the name of it and then like a picture and I for one am not a fan of these type of movies aka horror films aka scary films aka something that makes me super uncomfortable films but I want to do something nice for her and at the same time do something that would step me out of my comfort zone right really making me uncomfortable and I'm not gonna lie guys I kind of didn't buy those tickets a thousand times online but then I keep thinking what what's it for it's for her so I go on I purchase the tickets and I do a little whole you know date date thing I write a note where it says will you go to the movies with me circle one and she didn't do it she's an asshole for not doing it um, so kind of she never answered I just took her out and so we went to the movies and one minute into it I forgot about previews and they were horror film previews. I walked out of the theater. I walked right out, sat outside for 25, 30 minutes to recollect myself and finally made my way back in. Now, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I watch horror films or anything of like that's creepy, I don't like it. Like it's something about it, not that it's scary. Yes, it is scary because my brain is super overactive and I keep overthinking things and I have anxiety. But there's something about horror films that make me feel dirty. Like, in a, in a really bad way. Like, you know when you, if you guys are dog owners, and you, if you have a dog, and you pick up the dog, I'm sure this happens to some of you guys, when you pick up the dog shit, right? And then all of a sudden the bag breaks and your finger gets into the poop, like the shit. Like, that's how my body felt, like inside. Like, I was trying to do a good thing, be really clean about it, and all of a sudden it ended up feeling really shitty. And that's exactly how I felt for the rest of the day. And, it, like, I tried, I tried, I tried, but... The point of the story is that no matter what you do, no matter what it is, sometimes there's just some things that you gotta really think about yourself, you know, and not allow other people's logic or opinions or ideal affect yours. And you know, I did it for her. So I don't wanna say that I did it um, to make me feel better. It's to, for her so we could do something together, but there's just some things at some point that we should do separately. And that is one, you know? So whenever you have, feel like you are being peer pressured or feel like you are, your arm is being twisted and something that you feel is not right, something that you feel in your heart that doesn't go with your ideals or is gonna make you feel shitty, just go with your heart. Go with what it is you know best and that's listening to your intuition. And my energy fields are way high right now because I've been meditating, I've been hanging out, I've been keeping clean, really eating a lot of live food and I'm really connected and I know my body and fucking I, I knew I shouldn't have did it but I did it and I'll take it as a learning experience so for you guys that may or may not be in these situations yet if you feel like you shouldn't go out if you feel like you shouldn't go out with your friends and drink if you feel like this is gonna be a bad idea don't do it your gut your energy especially if you're in the same field as I am understands the difference between shitty and good and I want to feel good. I work really hard to feel good. I work really hard to feel great. Fucking watching that movie did not make me feel good or great at all. All right, I'll see you guys later. It's PeteGuys.com. Make sure you guys go to my website, check it out, and see if you like it. If not, pass this video along, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, peace out. Say bye, see you best. See you best is hanging. We're watching dogs. Daisy's over there, and Switch is right here. Bye, guys.